Dear students, hope all are safe and fine. Welcome back to the chapter triangles. In the previous period, we have seen the congruence criterion for SAS and ASA. Let us just have a quick review. In two triangles, if two sides are given equal, and the included angle are equal, then we say that these two triangles are congruent under SAS criteria. The second one is ASA congruence rule, which means if you have two angles of two triangles are equal, and one of the included angle one of the included side is equal, then these two triangles are congruent. This is called ASA congruence, or this can also be rewritten as AAS congruence. If any of the other two angles are equal and a side is equal, this is also called a congruence, that is AAS congruence, which is the same as ASA congruence. But remember that SAS congruence can't be written as S S A. There is no such rule. Just have a note of it. S A is just S A S only, but A S A can also be written as A A S, which means if you have two angles, if you have two angles given to you, they are equal. And one of the other sides, which need not be included, then still these two triangles are congruent by AAS congruence. Let us see through some examples. AB is parallel to CD. The line segment AB is parallel to CD, which means we can apply alternate interior angles or corresponding angles or same side interior angles. And let us see the next condition. O is the midpoint of AD. For the side AD, O is the midpoint, which means AO is the same as OD. So from the first condition, we know that these two lines are parallel, so we can follow the Z shape. In the Z shape, the angles are, which are formed at the turning points are equal, which means angle CDO is congruent to angle B A O. So we get one of the angles, they are equal because alternate interior angles. Next, we have the side A O is the same as O D. So let me write the side D O congruent to A O. We have a side now because it's given. O is the midpoint. Now let us see the next condition. The lines CB and AD are intersected. And you know when two lines are intersected, we have the vertical angles or vertically opposite angles. So we can say angle DOC is congruent to or equal to angle AOB. So we get an angle because they are vertical angles. So by ASA congruence rule, we can say that those two triangles are congruent. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle DOC. Now, we should also show that O is the midpoint of BC. O is the midpoint of BC means we have to show that BO is the same as OC. Look at the letters OB and OC. OB is the last two letters of the first triangle and OC is the last two letters of the second triangle. And you know, they are equal because we have studied corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent means they are equal. So we can say OB is equal to OC. 
so o is the midpoint of bc hope it's clear exercise let's move on one. to question one ac is equal to ad ac is equal to ad and ab bisects angle a angle a is the obtuse angle c a d which is bisected means cut into two equal parts so these two angles are equal these are the two conditions given so we can see from the triangle c a b and the triangle d a b the side c a is equal to a d so c a or a c is equal to d a that is given next the angle c a b is equal to or is congruent to angle d a b d a b why is it so because a b bisects angle a so we get a side we get an angle next we need a side look at the side a b a b is a side for the triangle a b c it is also a side for the triangle a b d which means a b is common which means it will have the same measurement. If AB is eight centimeter, it is the same for the first triangle and same for the second triangle. So we have a side. So by SAS side angle side congruence rule, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Next question is, what can you say about BC and BD? Just look at the position of the letters, BC and BD, the last two and the last two, which means they are corresponding parts. So we can say BC is equal to BD because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangle. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So these two lines are these two line segments are equal. Let's move on to question two. ABCD is a quadrilateral. AD is equal to BC. AD and BC are equal. DAB, the obtuse angle at the top, is equal to the obtuse angle CBA, the angle at the bottom. These two angles are equal. Now we have to prove that ABD is congruent to B A C A B D, which is the triangle which is marked red, is congruent to B A C. So we have to either follow S A S or A S A congruence. So let us see one by one. We have the side A D. Let's start with the given condition. Side A D is equal to B C given. So we have a side now. Next, angle DAB from the red triangle is congruent to angle CBA from the blue triangle. They are equal, it's also given. So we have an angle now. Now we need to see the side AB. You can see that AB is red and blue at the same time, which means AB is common. So we have another side. So by the rule SAS, congruence condition, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. That's the first part. Second part is show that BD is equal to AC. Again, look at the position of BD. BD is the last two letters, AC is the last two letters as well. So because they are in the same position, we can say BD is equal to AC because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So they will be equal. So we are done with the second part. Third part is ABD is equal to angle BAC. ABD. B, A, C. So they are talking about angle B and angle A. 
they are in the same position though so they are also corresponding so angle a b d is congruent to or equal to angle b a c again corresponding parts of congruent triangle have you ever get confused what's the meaning of cpct once you prove that two triangles are congruent part by part three angles from the first triangle will be equal to three parts three angles of the second triangle and three sides of the first triangle will be equal to three sides of the second triangle this is explained in the previous period 20 29 and period 30 now let us move on to question 3 ad is equal to bc these two sides are equal and this the line ad and bc are perpendicular to ab which means angle b is 90 degree also angle a is 90 degree these are the given conditions now we have to show that cd bisects ab which means bo is equal to ao this we have to show this is not a given condition so let us start from the given condition ad is equal to bc so we have a side it is given and that is a side now at the point o you know that a o d is equal to or congruent to c o b because they are vertically opposite angle or they are forming an x shape c o b vertical angles so we have an a now Next, we have angle B and angle A are equal, which is 90 degree. Angle A is equal to angle B because both are 90 degree each, because they are perpendicular. So we have another A. So we have angle, angle, side. We have studied SAS and ASA. So here there are two angles. So it is AAS congruence rule. By AAS congruence, we can say that triangle CBO is congruent to triangle DAO because we have studied ASA can also be written as AAS. These two are accepted. Now, the question is about AO and BO. You look at the position of BO and AO, they are the second position. So we can say BO is equal to AO because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. These two are equal means that CD bisects AB. The AB is cut into two equal parts by the line CD. Hope it's clear. The rest of the exercise we will solve in the next period. That's all for today. Thank you.